Hi hey guys, my name's Jeremy. This is Temple of Truth, and I hope you're having the best day, night, afternoon, whatever time of the day it is for you when you catch this video. Uh, I just wanted to reach out to anyone that might be feeling lost, confused, alone. Um, you are not crazy if you are starting to see this world differently. If the veil is starting to be lifted for you, if you are starting to have revelations about this reality and the things you thought were true, you are not alone. Do not be afraid of the things that are going on right now. Take this opportunity, these trials and tribulations to go within and look at yourself and do the inner work that will help you to become the best version of yourself. And you don't have to do this alone. There are plenty of people that are ready and willing to guide and assist and listen to whatever it is that you're going through. And I am one of them. I am not an expert in anything but life. I live it. I try and stay in the moment these days. I have conquered many things and I have many things left to conquer myself. Um, I want you to know that you are an amazing person and do not allow friends or family or jobs or the social media or anything to make you feel anything less than amazing. We have so much control. We have all the control over how we feel, how we treat ourselves. There's so many things that we've been lied to about. And that's what this whole journey is about right now. It's about taking back your power, taking back your, your responsibility over yourself. This thing we call the temple, that's why this channel is called Temple of Truth. It starts here. It starts with a healthy mindset, a healthy diet, healthy consumption of proper entertainment and media. There's nothing wrong with entertaining ourselves, but you have to be aware of what you're consuming. Everything is frequency, vibrations, and energy. And there is a consequence if we are consuming the wrong things. And that's not just our diet. So please reach out if you need to reach out. If you need to talk to someone, I'm here. Um, I will help you in any way I can, even if it's just listening. I will give you advice for the things that have worked for, for me to help me conquer addictions and fear of judgment from others and all of the society restrictions and constructs that we fall into. Um, we have the power to shed them. But it does start here. We've got to clear this. See, there's the there's a story in the Bible about rebuilding the temple, which is very relevant right now. There's a lot of talk about rebuilding the temple. Well, there's another way to look at it. And I'm not here to discourage anyone's religion, but I just want you to think that there's always deeper meanings, more than one meaning to these things. That's what parable and allegory is all about. So it starts with rebuilding the mind. These are the temples that were not built by any man. This is God's temple. We are this. We are the temple of, of Christ. Okay? The Christ is within us. He is the son of man. We are the man. He is our gift to us. Remember? No matter how you interpret the Bible, there are always multiple fruits to gain from things. And that's why scholars will continue to continue to read it and read it and read it. We're going to be better than okay. Okay. What else did I want to say? Right now, 
we are going through our trials and tribulations. There is no question that we are going through trials and tribulations. What we do with the wisdom we receive, the information, the Solomon's wisdom, the soul of man, the wisdom from within that we are receiving through all the revelations, and it's being played out in media, in news, everywhere. Music, I mean, everywhere you are receiving these little breadcrumbs. What you decide to do with this right now, the efforts that you actually put forth will bear the fruit for this new world that is going to present itself. And you can buy into the fear of the Illuminati and New World Order and, and all that stuff. Or you can trust in something greater. That there will be a divide maybe. And those who hear the call will be prepared to be the leaders of a new world. Those who are healing themselves, clearing out the temple, clearing out all the clutter, learning how their body works, learning how you, you actually connect with this place we call earth, this universe, this, this nature, learning all of these things will determine the new kings of the new Jerusalem, heaven, whatever you want to call it, new world, whatever whatever you want to label what's coming. But there is definitely a great change upon us. And it's happened many times through throughout history. You can call it a renaissance period if you want. They'll call it the fourth industrial revolution, the great reset. They'll call it all sorts of different things. What's undeniable is that the world is changing. And we live in the age of information. So right now, there's no excuse to not attempt to better yourself. And you take it in whatever slow steps you need to. But simply believing in something, anything, is not going to do it anymore. There has to be action as another person i the, the word utility you know we got to put things into utility we got to we got to actually start using these gifts of truth of revelation it's always been said we're the ones we've been waiting on we make the world better for the next generation. And it starts with bettering ourselves. Be more selfish. Look at the look at the word selfless. And remember about etymology. Learn about etymology. Selfless. Why do you want to be selfless? Why do you want to be less of yourself? Be more of yourself because then you can give more to others. When you are your true self. You can you can give more in in a in a in a true honest and I wanted to get the word integrity in there, but I didn't know how to how to slide that in. It wasn't but you want to do things with integrity. Integrity will be the currency of your kingdom. All the relationships you will build moving forward that will have any value will be so because of integrity, both given and received. I tend to get ahead of myself on certain things, and I've learned to step back and remind myself I'm not an expert on anything. I will be honest where I'm at in my journey, and I hope to share it with you just as I hope to connect with more people. So please, like the video. Share the video. Let me know if there's something that I can help you with. We'll research it together. We'll get to the bottom of it. You, you don't have to do this alone. I want to be here for you. I want to be service to others. I don't want to be someone who didn't stand on the forefronts and offer themselves to the world, to whoever doesn't matter what you look like, 
where you come from. We're all in this together. I love you. And I hope you're loving yourself as much as you deserve. Again, my name is Jeremy. Here at Temple of the Truth, Temple of Truth, we like to focus on all the different ways that we can better our mind, our body, and our spirit through healthy decisions and healthy actions. Excuse me, I was feeling a little, uh, a little uh, burn in the chest there for a second. Um, I thank you again if you have the opportunity to share this video um, to help us connect and reach others. I'm very grateful for that. We do have other platforms you can communicate with us on. And I say us because this is about building a community, a community of love and trust. And we like to research all the different wonderful things going on in the world that are being returned to us. The truth about where we come from and where we might be headed. A lot of interpretation to that. A lot of different perceptions. Don't get bogged down in all that. Try and stay in the moment to the best of your ability. 595. Your thoughts, 5% past, 90% present, 5% future. It's the best way to do it. Uh, we are, again, on the platforms, Twitter, Discord, Facebook. You can reach out, WhatsApp, whatever whatever works for you. But definitely try and share this video. Uh, I'll tag it the best I can. We'll have all those links in the description. And just reach out. Love yourself. Because I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jeremy Temple of Truth. We'll see you in the next video or the live stream. Take care.